start by priming India's skin and I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Beauty um, Primer. I'm just going to be applying this all over the face and I've also just applied a moisturiser underneath and I just went in with Rodeal. For the brows, I'm just going to be taking the Soap Brows and I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm just going to be brushing the product through India's amazing brow. Literally obsessed. <laughs> Following the brows, I'm just going to fill it in India's brows very slightly. I don't want anything too blocky or harsh, but I'm just going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Brow Powder and just running it through the brows very slightly. Just to prime the eyelids, I'm going to be taking the Perfect Prime, and this is by The Perfect Cosmetics. Oh, we were just talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be applying this all over the lid, and this helps to take away any discoloration, sharpen up the brows also just like prep the eyelid for the shadow. Then I'm just going to be taking these Huda Beauty um, Matte and Melted Eyeshadows. So I'm going to be using the shade uh, Private Jet. I'm going to be blending, I've just put a little bit in the back of my hand, I'm going to be blending it all over the lid. I just find these are so easy to work with and also they come in such good colours. Moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsession. And first of all, I'm just going to be taking a flat brush, if you can see it, this one. So as you can see, I've just built up this one, so I'm just going to show you on this side what I did. So I'm going to go in with the colour and just map out the shape of the eye. And then with my blending brush, I'm just going to go back and forth. And I kind of do this until I'm happy with the shape and also the consistency and density, is that word? <laughs> of the shadow. And I'm just going to go back and forth just to blend it out. And what I also want to do is just blend it quite far out and quite high up just to get like a really nice diffused eye. And just with a, um, a face wipe, what I'm going to do is just clear any excess you get underneath. And I'm not going to lie, I do find some of these um, these Huda Beauty palettes do get quite a lot of excess, so just be a little bit careful. Following wiping underneath the eyes, you can see that I've just really cleaned it up, but I've still kept that shape. And with the same colour I've just used, it's just that one colour from that palette. I'm just going to be doing the same things we did underneath. So I'm going to be working in on each corner. flat brush because I don't want to be too precise because I do want it to be quite um, blended out. Just add a little bit on both sides. And also just blend it up towards the corner. Following doing the underneath I'm going to go back in with the matte and melted and one side is obviously matte and one side is a little bit more shiny so I'm taking the shinier side which is called the shimmering sunset. I just put a little bit at the back of my hand and what I'm going to be doing is just applying it in the centre of the eye just to really give that nice golden shimmer and also just a bit of a glow. And then I'm also going to take the same shade underneath, just apply that into the centre of the eye. Basically just copying everything we do on top on the bottom. Next I'm just going to be using um, some mascara, so I've already um, curled India's lashes. So I just used the um, Laura Mercier um, eyelash curlers and now I'm just going to go straight in with the Marc Jacobs mascara. I don't want to be applied too much because I'm going to be applying some individual lashes to slow down for me. But I'm going to do a light coating on the top and also on the bottom. For the lashes, I'm just going to be taking the um, Nikki No Lash Lash. And just with my tweezers, I'm going to start off with the slightly longer ones and just go in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is work either side, going a little bit smaller just giving the appearance of really lush, big eyes. Now, just finishing the eyes, I'm gonna be moving on the skin and I'm gonna be taking the Rodeal Skin Tip. I'm gonna go in with a flat foundation brush and I love this, um, I love this foundation. It's like a tinted moisturizer, 
uh, moisturiser actually. I use it all the time so you can probably see. Um, but obviously India's got the most beautiful freckles and I don't, I find with this it gives you coverage but it doesn't completely cover everything, which I think is going to look beautiful. Following the skin, I'm just going to be using a concealer and I'm actually going to be taking this NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm using it in shade 2.75. I was going to be buffing this underneath the eyes and what I'm going to do is just really clean up this shape on the sides and bringing it down towards the chin. Now I'm going to be moving on to the contour I'm going to be taking this cream contour by Huda Beauty and I'm taking the shade Light and all I'm going to be doing is just going down underneath the cheekbones and as you can see it just adds a really nice warm contour and it just brings in the face a little. We're gonna be on the side a little bit in there. As you can see, that contour is popping. Mm. <laughs> and to add a little bit of colour to the cheeks, I'm gonna be taking the new iconic cream blushes. So this is in shade ooh, powder pink. So I'm gonna be completely honest, they're not as pigmented as the NARS blushes but they are really beautiful to apply. So if you just want that like really subtle blush, I think they're just perfect. And we're gonna be blending the pink right up to the contour. And now I've zoomed in a little bit, you can see that I'm just gonna be applying the blusher on the apples of the cheeks, and then taking it upwards towards the contour. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Huda Beauty Translucent Powder next. And what I'm gonna do is just go a little bit underneath the eyes and around the nose. Also on the forehead and on the chin. So I'm just really focusing on the T zone just to take away any unwanted glow. Next for highlighter, I'm just gonna be taking this um, Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna be using the um, shade in Zanzibar. I'm just gonna ask you to look that way. And I'm gonna be applying it on top of the kind of blusher and contour. I really want this look to be a beautifully Glowy, and this brush is amazing for highlights. It's quite like a small dome brush, you can get a little bit more precision. This is from Young Blood. It just gives a really a nice glow. Now I'm moving on to the lips. So I'm going to be using two products from Huda Beauty, and I'm going to be taking the Bombshell Lip Contour and also the Crush Liquid Lipstick. So I'm first of all going in with the Bombshell, going round India's lips. So India's got beautifully sized lips, they're really nice and full, but I am just going to kind of work on the lip line and slightly above it, just to make them look super full. Following the lip contour, I'm going to be just using a lip brush, this is actually just from a paint shop, I'm just going to fill in the lips. I actually love this colour, it's like a perfect nude. Then last but not least, to finish this look, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter, just to keep it up. 